Hi, this is John Sullivan with Advisor One, and we're here with Bob Veris, who's publisher of Inside Information and very well known around the FPA community. Bob, you talk often about how the future of the, the, the industry is blindingly obvious. Uh, can you just ex expand a little bit more on what you mean by that? Well, I said the drivers were blindingly obvious. The, I the messed that up, sorry, yeah, yes. That, that's okay. But, yeah, I, I wrote a, a white paper on the future of the profession. It's uh, Bob, but it, at bobveras.com. It's um, downloadable for free. But the drivers, I think most people here are talking about them. You know, everybody wants to get more scale because the the costs and the, the operational efficiencies are greater. I mean, the costs are less and the operational efficiencies are greater. Everybody's talking about succession planning and everybody has to be a macroeconomist these days. Right. And um, the end of the story is I wrote this white paper and then I got these great comments from Mark Tavergen and Philip Palavev and Michael Kitsis and others. And I'm sorry, so, who are they? I, I yeah, these, 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 these <laughs> unknowns. Actually, yeah. about 20 substantive comments and their material was way better than the material I published. You know, I was, they were, I was essentially right in the drivers and essentially right in the, the outline of the future. But so I'm looking now at incorporating all that into a second paper because it's going to be a lot better than what I wrote the first And I know time. that we're talking about doing something for investment advisor, advisor run with that, but that'll be available online as well at your site? Sooner or later. <laughs> Sooner or later, when we all get around to actually doing it, yes. What were some of the comments that were coming back to you from a diversion or a palliative or somebody like that? Well, the, the single most surprising, interesting thing was they were talking about, you know, if, if we have consolidation, what does that mean? And I, I was just assuming bigger firms. Well, they talked about, both of them talked about two different business models. One is the silo model where you have the, um, sort of everybody lives together under the same roof, under the same, uh, but they have their own clients, they keep their own cost structure, they share um, the business space. And you know, there is the ensemble firm where everybody is a client of the firm. <clears throat> and the distinction between the two, um, or the, the interesting thing about the two that they were pointing out was that the silo firm, once it becomes large enough, uh, runs into the same operational issues as a broker-dealer. You know, you, we are the back office and we need to keep you guys in the fold somehow. And, um, and the ensemble firm, meanwhile, is hiring advisors from the street to come and work on the, um, the planning work for their clients, which means they need to have operational control and they need to make sure it's being delivered with some uh, a certain amount of efficiency, right. which means which are exactly the same issues the brokerage firms are looking at. Right. So what they're saying is, larger advisory firms, regardless of which model they follow, are going to suddenly come in on the same things. Yeah. Exactly yeah. the same yeah. operational challenges that we see in in the business that we thought we were outgrowing. <laughs> and these are largely fee-only firms. You know, firms that yeah. thought they were very different from a brokerage firm or very different from bro an independent broker dealer. Wonderful. And we'll have much more on this subject right here at advisor1.com.